Well, y'all are probably wondering what this is all about, so uh, let me explain that, shall I? So for starters, thanks for joining us today. I know it's been a while since we've posted anything. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened over the last couple of months, weeks, days, hours. And uh, I just want to give you guys an update as to what's going on. But real quick, let's take a roll call, shall we? Uh, F-150. Check. Explore. And check. Excursion. Check, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Escape. Um, um, uh, where's the escape? Uh, um, I, I guess we'll get back to that. Ranger, uh, Mustang, here, and GTI, present and freshly tinted. So yeah, see, a lot of stuff has happened. So let's get to it real quick. Starting with the F-150, everything's good there. Still great daily driver, still an awesome truck, still love it, sound system's still great. About to hit 100,000 miles on it, which that's probably the biggest piece of news to deal with that. So moving on to the Explorer. Um, yes, it's still there. Yes, it's still in pieces. And eventually we're going to get some stuff done on that. I'm looking at some carpet kits to replace the tore up carpet, some headliner kits to redo the headliner. Probably gonna do a color change on the interior. Not really sure at this point, but I'll know more when I get closer to that. Um, now, moving on to the elephant that is not in the room, which would be the Escape. Now, as a lot of you know, the used car market is ridiculous with the pricing right now. In fact, CarMax gave me an offer on the Escape, which was way more than I owed. So we figured, why should I be making this monthly car payment when my wife is working from home, she doesn't do a whole lot of driving, and the excursion's just sitting there. So we decided to sell the Escape to CarMax. We're using that money to put into the excursion. I've got a lot of parts coming. I've got brakes coming, some custom parts, new stereo head unit, all kinds of stuff. So things that got done on the excursion today, we got new tires, uh, all new tires. In fact, even got a new tire for the <clears throat> for the spare. And for those of you who know these excursions, yeah, no, the spare tire won't fit in its stock location anymore. So I'm gonna have to finagle something together to keep it in place, but I'll work with that later. And I also put the fender liners up here back in I remember I took them out just in case there was any leaks or any um, exhaust issues or anything like that I kept them off for a while oh yeah look at those tires oh yeah for those wanting to know these tires are Hankook Dynapro MT2s they are a 31575 R16 so yes they are bigger than stock and they do they do rub just a little bit on the radius arms but that's no big deal but man do they make this truck look good oh I mean, look at that. That's just gorgeous. And I may or may not put that front bumper thing back on. Can't wait to get rid of these mirrors. Now, Jake, what do you got going on with the Mustang? Well, I mean, the interior isn't here and the paint's kind of hiding, but it, the car is here. It's fine. Cool, and the GTI? This is my 2018 GTI. It has the six speed manual. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We finally have a car on the channel that is a manual transmission. Making the term shift head seem a lot better, doesn't it? Anyway, moving on to the Ranger. Um, this is a 1993 four cylinder, also a five speed manual. So now we have two cars that are manual transmission on shift heads. But this one I bought as a kind of a father son project for me and my oldest son to do. He's two years away from getting his license and I figured this would be a great learning tool for him to, to hone his skills on wrenching and driving. And it's not in bad shape, but it's not in the greatest shape either. So 
Plus, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of money into it right now, so if he ends up wrapping it around a telephone pole, I won't be heartbroken. I will be concerned that he's okay, but I won't be heartbroken at the loss of this truck. It's not a bad little truck. There's the four cylinder right there. The uh, story behind this one is the previous owner said the head gasket blew, they parked it, and yeah. The bottom end's locked up. The, the camshaft and the valves all move freely, but the bottom end, I can't get it to spin around. I stuck my bore scope down in the spark plug holes to see what I could find out in there. It's not really telling me a whole lot. But until my son gets his grades up, I can't touch this thing any further as far as wrenching goes because that was the deal. He's got to keep his grades up and I'll keep working on this thing. Manual transmission. Yeah, it looks kind of like my Explorer in here. In fact, it's the same dash. <laughs> so I don't want to go into too much detail on what happened with Jake's Ranger. He can let you guys know what's going on with that. That's more of his area out there in California still. He's doing his thing, he's rocking and rolling. I know he hasn't made a whole lot of videos, but hey, he's a busy kid and he's got a lot on his plate. So I don't really push him to do anything, except for the stuff that you just saw earlier. For those of you wondering what was all about that whole video game video I did, yes, I, I got a new gaming PC for Christmas. It's awesome, it's fantastic. Still trying to figure out how to do live streaming and stuff and whatnot, because to me, you know, cars and video games or video games that have cars in them, deserve to be on the channel just as much as any of these things or any of the car shows I go to or other cars that I see out and about with, you know, other car people. So anyway, that is pretty much the gist of what it is we have going on here right now at Shift Heads. There are a few other things in the works later down the road. Hopefully those things tend to work out, but I'm really excited. A lot of parts coming for the excursion. There's gonna be a lot of videos on that gonna start thinking about ideas on the Explorer and what we can do with that plus this Ranger will have videos with me and my son just doing things to get this going or showing him how to change things out or whatever nothing really new going on with the F-150 but we got things coming from Jake on both that Mustang and the GTI but it, it's gonna be awesome I hope you guys stay tuned I do apologize this one may be a little bit short but hey Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Oh, the problems of having a 44 gallon tank. The pump stopped at $85. And I still need more.